Hi, my name is Guy, and in this channel, I will share my journey into different crypto projects and other tech-related topics. If you are interested in this type of content, you are welcome to join me. I see many people ask, how can you find Chia on multiple machines? So in this video, I'm going to cover this topic. So let's get started. So the best way to set it up is to set up your main computer as the farmer and the other computers as harvesters. The farmer is usually when you run the GUI or the full node and the harvesters, they will only run the harvester. So this will be your typical network diagram and it doesn't matter if it's on Wi-Fi or you're using a switch. The first step would be to take the CA folder with the certificates from the farmer and copy it to the harvesters. The second step would be to set up the harvesters and point them to the farmer. So let's see how this process looks like. The certificates you can find in the Chia folder. If you are on Windows, it will be here. And what you need is the CA folder with the certificates. You copy this folder, it doesn't matter, you can copy it off of the network, on a disk on key, or whatever you want. If you are on Linux, this is where you will find the folder. After you copy the folder to the harvesters, then you will want to go and install the Chia software. You can do this from the main website or from the GitHub repo. If you go to GitHub, you will find this here in the releases. If you are on Windows, you will want to install it with this file. So you download the file and you install Chia the same way you did for the farmer. After you install Chia, you can close it. We don't need it anymore. Then you will want to open a PowerShell window and go to this path over here. If you are on a previous version of Chia, make sure that you match this to the version that you are working with. Once you are here, you can type Chia in it, minus H for help, and you can see that you can point to a specific directory, and this will be the directory where you copied the CA folder. In our case, the CA folder will be here. You can just copy the path to the folder. After you copy it, you can do chia init minus c and the path to the ca folder. The next step would be to point the harvesters to the farmer node. You can do this with chia configure and let's do minus h so you can see the commands. The command that you are looking for is set farmer peer. So the command is chia configure set farmer peer and then you want to write the IP your farmer and port 8447. Once this is configured, the next step would be to start the harvester. You can do this with chia start. Harvester. Then you should see the daemon and the harvester are starting. Now your harvesters are reporting your plots to the to the farmer. In case that your plot directory or folder is not defined yet, you can add it by this command. Chia plots. Let's do again minus h. So you see all the commands. So we want to do plots, add, and we can point it to a specific directory. So you will do minus D and the path to the directory that you want to add. Once this is done, the harvester should report all the plots to your farmer. You can check this by checking the log. To see the log, you can do get content, the path, the path to your Chia folder, make sure that you replace user with your own user, and then debug log. In my case, the user is Guy. You can see that the harvester is now reporting the plots to the farmer, and it is searching for eligible plots and send proofs. If you want to check on the farmer side that you see the plots from the harvesters, you can do on the farmer machine the following command. Chia 
found summary. This should show you all the plots that you have in the farmer or in any other harvesters. So that's it. It's pretty simple and straightforward. You just have to know the right commands. And now you are ready to go and you can fire your chair on multiple machines. That's it for today. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.